Do you know what the best selling vehicle in North America is? If you said the Ford F-Series pickup truck, you'd be correct. Today we are testing the F-150 from Ford. This is the platinum version, but the difference between this F-150 is this is the very first one to be powered with a diesel engine. I've always been a fan of the exterior styling of the F-150. This platinum model comes with a mesh style grille. You get a lot of satin finishing, just like the two bars that separate the mesh. I like how they've incorporated the LED light treatment. It's shaped like a C on each side, kind of similar to the Super Duty look. Below you have really nice recessed driving lights. The Platinum also comes with power folding mirrors and these also have an exterior side light on them which is really handy in real dark situations. You turn that on and it illuminates the area beside the truck. Also standard are power running boards. An optional is a sidestep, a simple kick and it comes out. This Platinum also has the FX4 off-road package which comes with skid plates, off-road tune, front shocks and an electronic locking diff. The back features standard LED taillights, and of course you can't miss that satin finish platinum plaque on the back of this tailgate. Speaking of tailgate, it is a power release tailgate. Two simple clicks on the key fob and the tailgate comes down. It seems like all manufacturers are in the tailgate war, which was kind of started by Ford with their integrated tailgate step. Even after all these years, this is still a huge feature to have. Although not power operated, it is assisted for putting the tailgate up. Inside the bed, you'll find the standard tie down spots that you would normally find in pickup trucks, as well as connection spots for truck bed options. This is also equipped with dual LED lighting and you can turn it on with an exterior weatherproof switch. Inside of the F-150 feels very spacious. Uh, everything is close at hand. Starting behind the steering wheel, you have a configurable LCD screen. You have your tack and your speedometer uh, surrounding that. So you can go through things like your trip odometer, your navigation, your truck info, your towing information and setup. If you want to add a, a trailer on to this, you can do that through this menu and your off-road. All sorts of things are available on that middle screen. This Platinum is equipped with power leather seats. They are heated and ventilated for driver and passenger. And up front, you see this BNO. That's Bang and Olufsen. This system comes standard on the Platinum trim. Usually, Bang and Olufsen, that was reserved for high end luxury cars, and now you're getting it in a pickup truck. That is pretty impressive. In the center, an eight inch infotainment Ford Sync system. It's very easy to use. It comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but I just find that the graphics are a little bit dated looking, but it is fairly easy to use. This one is also equipped with the technology package, which gives you automatic parking and also an around view camera system. If you're not backing up, there's a nice easy button to hit right on top of the screen. And I like that. So sometimes you just want to use the cameras without having reverse. To the left, you have your drive selector, your two high, four automatic, four high and four low. And also if you pull, that is your locking rear differential. Below that is your trailer backup system. Unfortunately, we don't have a trailer to pull. I'd really like to try that out where you actually just steer the vehicle with this knob. As for connectivity, you have a 12 volt cigarette lighter and you have a 400 watt inverter 110 plug there. And in here you have two USB plugs. One thing you're not gonna find though is that there are no USB-Cs and that's becoming more and more popular. I'm sure in the next version, they're probably gonna include that. In the center, a huge storage bin. There is a sliding shelf here. You can put your phone and things. I like putting the phone right actually in this little slot here in the middle, but I just went to the courier and picked up a package. So you can have an idea, that's a, a, you know, a large envelope. Well, that could easily be a laptop computer and it fits in there no problem whatsoever. In the back, tons and tons of room for your headroom, for your legroom, 
three adults back there, no problem. If you don't have any back there and you need more room, you flip up those rear seats and you have a large, large flat area where you can put tall, large things in the back there. One thing that I really do notice in the interior of this F-150, lots of hard plastic. And that's not a good thing, especially when some of the competitors like the Ram are really kicking it up in their interiors. They have a, a huge screen, a lot of connectivity, and just the fit and finish and the materials they're using are right up to the level of a luxury vehicle. So that's one area I think they could definitely improve on. So now let's take this diesel for a drive. Listen to that. The door is open right now, so it's even louder. There's almost no vibration, and it's very, very quiet, especially for a diesel. I love driving modern pickup trucks these days. You're not just driving a truck, you're driving a, a premium luxury vehicle, it seems. They're very comfortable. You ride nice and high, which I love. You have a commanding view of the road. You have huge mirrors. I forgot to mention as well, these heated and ventilated seats are also massaging seats. So while you're driving the long trips, put that on and it's the seat bottom and the back. So there's nothing to complain about these seats whatsoever. So under the hood of this Platinum F-150 is the optional diesel engine. It's the Power Stroke 3 liter six cylinder. One thing you'll notice is just how quiet this truck is. Sure, there's very good insulation and acoustic glass, which also helps, but even from the outside, it's not very loud for a diesel engine. And this engine is a proven uh, engine as well. It's got a long track record. This engine puts out 250 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque, and that's just at 1,750 RPM. And that's what I like about diesel engines, of course, is the torque. But driving this truck, like I mentioned, you get this commanding view, and it's effortless. When you're cruising around town, you're barely pressing that gas pedal or diesel pedal, accelerator. Anyways, you barely press it. It gets you up to speed with no issue. If you get into that sweet spot around around 2200 RPM, this thing just feels unstoppable. I really wish that I had a trailer or something to tow to see what it was like. Talk about towing, this is a four x four and it can tow up to 4,989 kilograms. That's over 11,000 pounds for this. And the payload is 780 kilograms or just under 1,800 pounds for a payload. This definitely has a lot of capability. If you want more, however, you can go to the EcoBoost motor, which is an optional engine as well. But the biggest thing with the EcoBoost engine is that you're not gonna get the fuel economy of this diesel. So the official numbers for the 4x4 are 11 liters per 100K in the city and 9.3 on the highway. We have driven 223 kilometers so far and we're averaging 11.7 liters per 100K and that's a mixture of highway and city driving. That's very, very respectable. My Highlander Hybrid gets close to about 11 liters per 100K and this is a full-size truck with a lot of capability. So that's one thing you might want to consider when you're buying an F-150 is the fuel economy. The engine is made into a 10-speed automatic transmission, which once again will enhance your fuel economy, make it better, and it does have auto start stop technology as well. One thing to note though, when you are totally stopped and if you're wanting to accelerate very, very quickly, let's say to get into a spot or something, right now I'll show you, there is a considerable turbo lag. So just make sure you're aware of that before you try uh, any daring moves. But once you get going, there's nothing gonna stop this then. We're on the highway right now. Like I said, you get that into like that 22, 2300 RPM range. And this, it's, it's effortless. It really is purely effortless for passing anything. So we're on the highway right now. As for ride quality, obviously this is a body on frame setup. So there's gonna be some compromise in ride quality, especially for bumpy roads or uh, potholes. It's a little bit jarring. Uh, it's not, you're not driving a car, remember that, but it is very comfortable. Like once again, with these seats, 
And the steering, I'm really noticing it's, it's quite positive. The on-center is very accurate. Of course, there's a little bit of uh, a wandering a little bit because of the tires, the size of tires, but you could honestly drive this vehicle every day in the city, on the highway like we are right now, on holidays, you could go on for hours. This would be a really good family vehicle. The new F-150 Platinum doesn't come cheap though. It starts just under 72,000 Canadian dollars. Then if you wanna add on the diesel power stroke engine that we have here, that's an additional $5,600. Then if you really load up with all the options, you're gonna run it up to about $85,000, which is what this one sits at right now. These new pickup trucks really do double duty. First of all, they can be work trucks because they can haul and tow so much, yet they can be regular everyday drivers. You can drive the family around very comfortably and they have all the luxury amenities, a B&O sound system, massaging seats, you name it, it's got it all. Would I choose the diesel option for this F-150? Absolutely. Yes, it's 5,000 bucks, but when you're spending $80,000, what's another 5K? Plus you get all that great torque and the better fuel economy. Just want to give you the example of the noise. Right now we are doing 110 kilometers an hour, about 1500 RPM. And this is what it sounds like on the freeway. It's almost silent. And then of course you can turn that B&O system on and it is a great sounding system. I honestly would love to own this truck. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. <laughs>